Lisa's story is a tale of resurrection and faith. That, you know, in spite of, of everything seeming to just be swirling around the drain, going down the tubes, in my heart I knew that this was still my soulmate. So my name is Lisa Powell, and the surgery that I had at St. David's Medical Center on August 30th, 2017, gave me my life back. People would refer to us as the perfect couple, but, you know, seven years or so into the marriage, it seemed like things just drastically changed, and, and you know, not just physically, but, but emotionally, I, I started to see a separation between us. I really knew I wasn't myself. All these symptoms that I was having, this sleeping all the time, lack of drive, I mean, this was not characteristic, so, so there had to be something wrong. Yeah, we sat down at breakfast, and, and Lisa had poured milks for everybody, and I went to take a sip of the milk, and it was just like, oh my God, this is horrid, you know, I mean, it's sour and and uh, don't drink it and and I realized Lisa you know she smelled it and didn't see anything wrong and I realized she's lost her sense of smell and that led to seeing another physician who then ordered an MRI and I got back and was here for 15 minutes and had a call on my cell phone from that doctor and that's when he he told me well Mrs. Pell I don't normally give this kind of news over the phone but I'm I thought you'd want to get right on top of this. So I saw the scan and Lisa and I looked at it together in the office and, and she was quite shocked. Uh, I mean, obviously you're living your life and all of a sudden there's a huge tumor in your brain. And this is a type of tumor called a meningioma. A meningioma in this location, uh, they're usually about three to 4% of all brain tumors. So they're fa fairly rare. Then that I had a six centimeter meningioma, which is a kind of tumor that's, that's generally benign, almost always, but at six centimeters, it was quite large, the size of a billiard ball. If this tumor had grown suddenly within a month or six months, you'd be in a comatose stage. But because they grow very slowly, the brain can uh, accommodate it to a certain degree by shifting out of the way like it is over here. My immediate, you know, internal reaction was, oh my God, <laughs> there's, there's an answer for what's going on here. And it was a process getting from there to, to when the surgery happened. And when it did, I mean, it was like, as soon as she came out from under the drugs, you could see the difference. I give all due credit to Dr. Tumu and to St. David's for the fantastic caring. I mean, that, that was the thing that most struck me about, about the staff at St. David's is these people didn't seem to be there doing their job. I mean, they seemed to be there, there doing what really mattered to them. These are excellent physicians and, you know, top of their field and, and highly renowned and extremely skilled and also very compassionate. You know, my, my youngest son will come up to me randomly, you know, and give me a big hug and say, I'm so glad I have you back, Mom. It's been an amazing journey. And, you know, I feel like Dr. Tumu and the, the whole team has, has given me a new life, you know, still going strong for, for many, many years to come, hopefully. Mm -hmm.